Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the chicken coop we just finished building. So I've already posted several videos on how to build this from start to finish, but I haven't given you an official tour and showed you all the details that we decided on. So if you guys stick around, I'll show you how this has worked out so far, a few tips that we learned from this process, and some ideas that we had along the way. So to start, I've gotten quite a few questions about the rocks that I put around the coop and the chicken run. And this is more than just for style. It does look nice in my opinion, but it also prevents animals and predators from digging underneath the chicken wire. Now you can also bury the chicken wire down about a foot into the ground and that will prevent them from digging through. But these rocks work really well. I haven't had any issues with predators yet. It's kept everything out. If they try to dig underneath the rocks, the rocks will just keep falling on top of them and will prevent them from digging under. We also like the way it looked and finished it off really nicely. For the windows, I have two separate sets, one with hardware cloth on it and the other with just windows. So in the summertime, I can put that hardware cloth up. It'll keep it nice and cool in there for the chickens. Now that it's getting a little bit colder outside, I have the regular windows up. It'll keep the wind from blowing through. Here's the nesting boxes. It sticks out from the coop. I'll show you the inside in just a little bit, but it doesn't take up any space inside, which is really nice. And it, I think it keeps the nesting boxes a little cleaner this way as well. Now, I chose not to have doors on the outside. I wanted to make sure nobody could help themselves to the eggs. Now for the chicken run, we built this onto the coop after the coop was finished. We have hardware cloth for the first four feet off of the ground. That's two rows of hardware cloth. This is a lot stronger and smaller holes than the regular chicken wire above it. This is really just for extra protection. Animals can't dig or bite through that wire. It's much stronger and smaller predators can't squeeze through those holes because they're only half inch wide. Now on this side, we installed a full size door that you can easily walk through and not have to bend over. We made the run this tall so that you can easily come in here refill their food and their water without having to bend over or crawl around. It's so much easier this way. Now the frame is built out of pressure treated 2x4s. They're up off the ground on bricks, so just about two inches off the ground on that bottom row. Now we did install a roof on top of the chicken run. This is really to just keep the chickens dry. They love to have a nice dry area. They call it a dust bath that the chickens will dig down into the ground and throw dust on themselves. It keeps their feathers clean and healthy. Now we installed a few roosting bars in the coop as well as in the chicken run. I just used a couple branches in the chicken run, screwed those to the wall, and they actually really love to get up off the ground to rest. They feel a little bit safer that way, and that's how they sleep, is up off the ground on branches or on a roosting bar. Now on the front, it's not necessary, but I put in a little bit of a patio there as a step getting into the coop so you don't have to step so high. And then that also levels it out a little bit as the coop is on so much of a hill. So we also wanted to put our chicken feed out in front in a metal trash can that we can easily get to and feed them when they needed and that gave a nice level area to put that. Now I did mention that we wanted to keep the eggs a little bit more secure so people can't help themselves. So we put a lock on the door with a simple latch. Now you notice we put linoleum down on the floor instead of having just the exposed plywood down there. This is really to keep all their mess from soaking into the wood. It will end up stinking and rotting out. This also is a lot easier to clean up. The wood chips can easily be swept up or shoveled out when it needs to be changed and you don't have to worry about it. So linoleum is definitely worth it. If you're going to have a chicken coop, just put some of that down on the floor. It's fairly inexpensive for a small coop like this. Now here you can see the nesting boxes. We have about a foot square, so a foot wide, foot deep, and a foot tall. And this is perfect for them to nest in. You just give them a little bit of straw in there and they'll be happy. Here we have on the other side, a ladder leading up to the roosting bar on top and a tray underneath wrapped in linoleum again, so it's a lot easier to clean. But chickens, when they're sleeping, they'll poop a lot more than they do in the daytime. So you'll probably keep 70% of the mess out of your coop if you just put a tray underneath their roosting bar like that. Now on top of the wall, we have a few gaps for ventilation. In the hot summer months, the air will flood in here and keep it cool. And we put a ridge vent on top of the coop so that the heat can escape out the top as it rises. Now we put hardware cloth on those openings so no predators can get inside as well and keep the chickens nice and safe. 
Now one last thing, we're planning on painting this once the pressure treated has dried out. It's good to let that season a little bit before you paint it. So we're waiting on that. We're gonna paint all the pressure treated and trim white, and then we're gonna leave the cedar siding alone and let that darken down and be a nice dark brown color. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below. If I missed anything and you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.